Oh my god. That looks suspicious, doesn't it? So I got these new Reebok tights. Can you see it? Can you see it? But I don't know what to wear with it because all I have is a sweatshirt and I don't want to work out in a sweatshirt. Oh yeah, look who's matching now. All right, it's handstand day in Canada. So first I'm warming up with stretchy stretches, Russian baby makers. Oh, this is happy baby, ready? Oh, look at me, I'm a happy baby. Splits, ouch, ouch, big ouch. Oh yeah, I need to do more of those. And these are bilateral dead bugs because, oh, look at my abs. Okay, and then I'm doing wall walks. Oh, look, I'm going sideways. Look at me. <laughs> and then I'm doing the handstand shoulder taps, and then I decided to try something very exciting. Blammo, I slapped my side and didn't fall on my face. And then I'm holding a handstand because it's good for you. And then what I'm going to do is a brand new move I've never done before, and it really excited the daylights out of me. Kipping handstand push-ups. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to make you watch it a few more times because it's very exciting for me. So just, you know, humor me and keep watching. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. So keep watching. Thank you. Cat in a box, cat in a box, cat in a box, cat in a box, cat in a box. Okay, air squats because this is important if you want to be a beast. So do it. Hang power clean into squat thrusters. Oh yeah, look at my bottom position. Great exercise if you want to be a beast. Cat in a box, cat in a box. Toilet paper ruiner. Oh my goodness, Spider-Man, that's not allowed. No, no, no. Oh, the excitement levels are high when things get delivered from bodybuilding.com. And yes, this box will now have to be in my living room for the next few days. Some people will buy, whoa, no, designer handbags. I, however, buy designer cats, and those are Beans Papers. He's officially registered. Very high-end cats, can't you tell? Socks, socks, socks. And I got this blue number, but if I wear them both at the same once, will it make me look like a Smurf? My new Reebok top matches my Reebok tights, and I'm digging the writing on the shin skin. It makes me feel important. And the chest plate part is see-through-ish, and I'm changing my sheets. Somebody better build a barn for all the cows I'm having. Look, my shaker cup matches my Reebok outfit. Because I'm Batman. Hey, Bean, can you tell me just how exactly my custom-made Nano 6 ended up right there. It's gymnastics day in Canada, so I'm working on improving my strength to body weight ratio, and there's a cat on the rack staring at me. So I'm doing strict pull-ups here, and my form is much better, and I'm also doing chin-ups because, well, I want to. And then you can see I'm using the band to assist me, and I hold it at the top with a lovely form, and I slowly lower, and I repeat. Okay, I think you get the point. Let's just fast forward. Cat in a box, cat in a box. Ooh, toes to bar. These are looking a lot better than before. And I'm working on my bridges and bridge kickovers because a secret fantasy of mine would be to learn how to do a back walkover. And those are called bridge splats. And we will try that again next week and hopefully it'll work. And of course, push ups because cat in a box, cat in a box. Oh, the cat hit me. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, push ups without distractions. All right, and now I'm going to. Oh, Distractions. Okay, now I'm gonna jump rope. Cat in a box, cat in a box. So I'm doing double unders. In fact, I'm doing like 50 of them in a row. So I'm gonna fast forward that. Cat in a box, cat in a box, cat in a box. She just jumped on the counter with a slipper, which upsets him because he's too little to jump on the counter. Check out my socks. I threw on the top with the air conditioning and once the Nano 6s go on, you won't see those pink polka dots anymore. There's a party going on. Time to work out, and that includes the cats. So the only way Coco can have a turn is if I hold Bean down, because he just wants it so badly. And he squirms like a slippery eel, so then he finally gets his turn. Today I'm working on squats, so I like to open up my hips first with a variety of moderately to severely unpleasant stretches. And then I like to also work on my bottom position. And this is a great technique. You can just grab a pole and walk your way down and hold that bottom position. You'll notice I'm wearing a rubber band too. And coming back up. You get the idea. All right. The most exciting part of this segment is watching Coco carry that pillow into the shark where Bean is. I think she's trying to suffocate Bean. Yeah. Okay, then we're doing air squats or I'm reenacting the scene from The Lion King. And then I'm gonna grab my barbell and just hop right to it.
Front squats. Oh yeah, look at my bottom position. Elbows up, back is straight, weight is in my heels. Working on some cleans, looking better than last week, but they still kind of suck. The whole goal is to suck less each week. Frontal view, look at that bottom position, elbows are up. You know, I owe my progress to date to being consistent with my stretching and my weak point training and just consistently working at this. Shark attack! I sense a tremendous amount of hostility. I did not feel like training and I procrastinated it till the evening. Note to self, do not wear white socks again. Air squats, notice I pause at the bottom so I can get stronger coming out of the hole because I want to be a beast. And here you see me doing kettlebell swings. Notice it's all posterior chain action. Back squats, which have improved significantly. I'm much more upright and using my posterior chain. In the past, I was leaning forward so much and using my quads. Oh, tummy time. Okay, so here I'm doing dumbbell snatches. And if you follow me, you know that this is my least favorite exercise of all time, which if you follow me, that means I need to do it more often because if you don't like something, that means you need to do it more often. These destroy me. And the kitties. So on Saturday, I flew from Toronto to Long Beach, California, and I had the opportunity to give a lecture on authenticity. And I wanna thank Natalie Min, who gave me this incredible opportunity. So I wanted to share some of the highlights and clips from this experience. Surprise, I'm in Long Beach, because I'm teaching a lecture at FMI, and I'm even wearing a dress. But my lats and delts grew too big, so it's abrading all of my shoulder crotch skin off. Lovely view from my hotel room, and I think this is the Pike or some shopping mall. I'm with Natalie Min at FMI, teaching a lecture on authenticity, therefore we're using the pretty filter. Very authentic. FMI! Yeah. What a treat. Olympic lifting coach Eileen Wu just happened to be in my lecture. So once we wrapped up the lecture, she gave me a snatch lesson right in the lecture hall. Check this out. Oh, look at that. That is amazingly broken. Like you're about to jump, go down. Now turn on the last, that's on, now get under. That is so much better. Do that again. Way better. Watch that one. I want to introduce to you my very special co-star this week. This is Chatty Dunmore's adorable and stunning daughter, Sophia. And she's going to teach us how not to take a selfie. She's so cute. Oh yeah, it's going down. I got Sarah's phone and I'm going to teach her how to do the snap game. What's up? My name is Sophia, and I'm going to teach you guys how to take a perfect selfie. Number one, you need the perfect lighting. Step two, you gotta have your hair in front. Perfect. Step number three, you need to have a nice background, so we're gonna have to change. Step four, pretty faces. Step five, take it. Cheese. Six. If it's ugly, delete it now. Step seven. If you write that, just know it washes up your face. So we're going to have to change that. Step eight. Just look at the camera. Don't look anywhere else. Step nine. Don't have the wrong angle. Perfect. Step ten. Don't do what she is doing. <laughs> Then we went to the yard house for dinner and I had pizza and nachos and a salad with crispy thingies on it. I'm lit. No, really, I am. I bought the loomy. I'm back home now. That was your hint. I quickly unpacked and I just hit the grocery store and picked up some pre-made food, a rotisserie chicken, some pre-made veggies, Greek yogurt, my fruit, and my rice cakes. I just spent the past 10 minutes organizing all of my food into containers. So I split up the rotisserie chicken and the veggies into four different meals. And I also took that big tub of Greek yogurt and split it into four different portions. And the thing is, if I hadn't done that with the strawberries as well, I would have eaten all the strawberries tonight. And you know what? That whole tub of Greek yogurt would have sat unopened in my fridge for a week until it expired. So this encourages me to eat well 
and to be mindful of my portions. And it also just keeps me organized for the next few days. I also put a half a scoop of the strawberry flavored Synthesis Edge into each of the yogurts with a little bit of Walden Farms calorie free strawberry syrup. Two things I wanna talk about this week. Number one, what do we do when we don't feel like training? Well, this has happened to me a couple times this week where I just haven't felt like it. And what I did is I forced myself to get started. Just by getting started, it gets your blood flowing, and then before you know it, you're good to go. Even if you just aren't feeling your training session that day, there's still something that you can do that will get you one step closer to your goal. What are you doing? Number two, what do you do when you're feeling discouraged? Well, this happens to me whenever I compare myself to people who are more advanced than I am. And the problem is that I don't take into consideration from where I came. I just overlook all the progress that I have made to date just to say, hey, I'm not doing what they're doing. So I'm going to get all discouraged and I'm never ever going to reach my goals. My goals are too lofty or they're unattainable. And yeah, 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 wah, wah, wah. So the first thing I do is I acknowledge the success that I have had to date because that is something that is very obvious. All I have to do is look at videos from five months ago compared to today, and I can see that whatever the heck I'm doing, it's working. It's all about consistency and patience and time. Now, when I first started dental school, it just seemed so overwhelming to me. Like, would I ever actually be as capable as the third year and fourth year students or as an actual dentist? And then when I graduated from dental school, I felt the same way. I'm like, well, will I ever feel as good as the dentists who've been practicing for 10 years? So again, it's your own journey. And we all embark on these journeys at different times. That's why you can't compare yourself to somebody else. Good things take time. I can't expect to be a games athlete in five months. That's not gonna happen. Just like I didn't become a dentist in one month or one year, it took me four years. And that took me 10 years of practice to feel very competent. People who are successful at something, I don't think it's because they're lucky or because they had a certain background that we don't have. I really think it's because they're consistent and they just put forth the effort over time. So that means if they can do it, we can do it too. So for all the new Team SS members who are watching the veterans doing double unders with a jump rope like it's no big deal, well, once upon a time it was a big deal. And I want you to know that it took me three years to master the double under. So don't despair, good things take time. I guess the question is, how badly do you want it? This is like our thing now. I sit in the front entrance and just vlog my deep thoughts. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this episode and please do share me your deep thoughts by commenting below and be sure to hit that like button or the dislike button and make sure you subscribe so that you can like me or dislike me again next week.